In today's video, I'm talking all about using external drives with the M4 Mac Mini and using an external drive as your main drive. Now, this is different from booting from your actual drive. Booting from your drive means everything, including the system data, is stored on the external drive. But if you run into issues like maybe the drive fails or it's not connected, you won't be able to boot up your computer, which is why I don't recommend that. This method uses the home folder and it places it on the external drive and lets you put all of your application data, documents, whatever will automatically go to this drive as the main drive and save the space on your hard drive while keeping the system data on your hard drive. Now I did a video walking you through how to do that and I'll put a link in the description below. So if you're interested after this video and haven't done so, you could walk through there. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Jeff Fagan. I'm a filmmaker, director of photography and content creator. And I switched to the M4 Mac Mini as my main computer for editing videos when this thing came out, not because I needed to on a budget, but because this thing, the specs, what it was offering was so enticing, I wanted to just take the dive and see could this replace my old 2020 iMac as my main computer? And spoiler alert, it has, but with doing this method of using this OWC Thunderbolt 4 drive as my main drive in order to make up for the small internal drive that's in the base model. In this video, I'm gonna answer your questions, explain why I use this OWC drive as my main drive, and also talk about some drives that I don't recommend and why I don't recommend them, like the Samsung T7. Great drive, not great for using as your main drive or using your home folder on. We'll get to that in a bit. So first, let's talk about why I use this OWC drive as my main drive with the M4 Mac Mini. Now, the M4 Mac Mini, it is a solid computer. It gives the best value out of any Mac ever made. It's $599. It gives you great performance. I now use this as my main desktop at home for video editing, which I never saw happening in a $599 computer. But there's one trade-off to it for me, and it's the hard drive space. You only get 256 gigs of hard drive space on this computer, and at that, it is a slower drive than any other drive Apple has put in these M4 Mac Minis. The OWC Thunderbolt drive, if you put the right SSD in here, you actually get much better read and write speeds from the OWC drive than you do the internal drive. You can also upgrade this to two terabytes or more for less money than actually upgrading to a 512 drive in this M4 Mac Mini. Now, one thing I would recommend is setting up a secondary user account that is not linked to this external drive on your M4 Mac Mini, just in case you ever run into any issues and don't keep any programs on there, just leave it be, have it empty, but have full admin access in case you need to make any changes directly on the computer. I've had no issues using this drive. It's a 3000 megabyte per second write speed with over 3000 megabytes per second read speed, which both of those are faster than the internal drive. I also get no overheating from this drive whatsoever. You may notice it's kind of big. The entire thing is a heat sink. So it prevents this drive from overheating, so you'll never run into any issues, which between the overheating and the read and the write speeds, that's why I only recommend the OWC drive because you are changing to use an external drive as your main drive with all of your data. You don't wanna run into any issues, and that's why I recommend the OWC drive. A lot of you have been asking me and also having issues with using drives like the Samsung T7 as your main drive. I absolutely do not recommend using the Samsung T7 as your main drive. Reason being, the read and the write speeds are considerably slower. We're talking 70% slower or more than this drive from OWC. It's not worth using this drive as your main drive. I know a lot of you are because it's a budget thing. You may also already have the T7. This thing is not fast enough to do so. And a lot of users are commenting that they're having issues once they set this as their main drive, logging in. This drive is way too slow. Not only that, if you're using it as your main drive, it will overheat on you. This is not the same kind of drive as the OWC Thunderbolt 4 drive. There is a reason you pay a little bit extra for this, and it's not a lot. This drive is 100% worth every penny, and so if you're going to do this method, I can only recommend the OWC Thunderbolt 4 drive because you're already adding something to this M4 Mac Mini. You want to at least get the same performance that you would get on the M4 Mac Mini, and you are not going to get that 
with the Samsung T7. It's just not going to happen. This is a great drive to keep external storage on. It's also a drive that you can edit from on the go, but it is not something you want to leave plugged in 24-7 as your only drive. It just it's not going to work. And that's why I wanted to make this video too, to let you all know, do not be using this. Please do not be using this as your main drive. If you're going to set this as a home drive at the very least, get something like a Sabrent Thunderbolt three enclosure. That's still not crazy fast compared to the OWC, but it will actually work. But in the end, that is close to the same price as the OWC, which is why I really can only recommend the OWC. So please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. In the end, you do need external storage when it comes to the base model M4 Mac Mini. There's just not enough internally, but there's not a whole lot of options that are going to give you easy, no-brainer solutions like the OWC, just because, again, this thing, it's not small. It's not quite close to the size of the M4 Mac Mini, but they made this thing so it will not overheat on you. That's why it's the only thing I could recommend. So I feel bad for you know some of you in the comments who have major issues, but that's why I've not recommended this T7 to use at all whatsoever as your home drive. Now, when it comes to booting from your external drive, the reason I don't recommend that is there can just be so many different issues when booting from your drive, and you're not saving that much extra space by doing it. All you're doing is completely not using anything on your internal hard drive, including the system settings. And the problem is, if this thing isn't plugged in, or it runs into a drive issue, well then you're not going to be able to boot your computer easily, you're going to have to get Apple tech support involved, it's just not worth the hassle. Where if you use this as your home drive on your main account, and then you just set up a secondary account on here, well if you do run into any issues at some point, you can fix them yourself without having to get Apple involved. Again. Unfortunately, using an external drive is pretty necessary when it comes to the base model Mac Mini, but this thing is such an incredible value at $599, it, it's worth it for me. It doesn't really add that much extra space on my desk to use this SSD. It's not like I'm traveling with this Mac Mini. The people who do those videos, I don't think that's practical. You might as well get a laptop at that point. But as far as a small desktop setup, couldn't recommend this more. If you're interested in doing this whole thing, I do a walkthrough in a video that I'll put a link to in the description below. I also have a full review of the M4 Mac Mini base model coming out soon. I wanted to use it as my main computer for more than a few weeks. It's been about a month now. I am extremely happy with this computer, and that's why I'm ready to finally talk about all the ins and the outs of using it as my main video editing computer. So stay tuned for that. If you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos of the channel. And until next time, my name is Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.